Hi everyone, I'm Evan. I'm Michelle. And this is Getting Saucy, Valentine's Day edition. Okay, so for this special Valentine's Day edition of Getting Saucy with Evan, I have my lovely wife, Angel. So she was in a video before with our friends Noel and Jeff, but this is our first video that we've done um, together, just the two of us. And um, before I um, tell you a little bit more about the sauce, um, why don't we find out a little bit about gel. So um, how would you rate your tolerance for spicy food? I would say I am medium for my, I wouldn't say tolerance, I would say my enjoyability mm. of spicy food mm -hmm. would be about a five. Mm -hmm. Beyond that, I don't find it very enjoyable anymore. Anymore? So you still really like like really spicy stuff? No, I phrased that wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I've known you for like 17 years and I didn't know you to ever have really, really liked spicy food. I so. like spicy, flavorful, but not mm. like too hot. Right, right. So not like hot for the sake of hotness, mm -hmm. right? It has to have some flavor behind it as well. Yes. <laughs> so for this special Valentine's Day edition of Getting Saucy, we have a special new hot sauce called Heartbeat Hot Sauce. Red habaneros. And there it is. There's a nice heart on there. <laughs> and um, this sauce is from Thunder Bay, Ontario. So go Canada and it's a small batch fermenters made with red habanero peppers. So have you heard of this sauce before? Never, but that doesn't say a whole lot because I don't follow sauces. So I heard this sauce, the first time I ever saw this sauce was on Hot Ones. Shout out to Hot Ones. Uh, yeah, they had this sauce featured on one of the earlier seasons of it. And when um, Sean Evans, the host, said it was from Thunder Bay, I got really giddy and excited. So, um, okay, so over here on the side it says, made with locally grown produce. Um, produced and bottled by Heartbeat Hot Sauce Company in Thunder Bay, Ontario. And then there's a graph on the bottom here where it goes from mild, medium, hot to extra hot and the bar goes all the way to hot. So I'm not sure if you can make mm. that out or not. So that's slightly above my preference, so we will see. We'll see. I uh, coined <clears throat> with calling it the love sauce for Valentine's Day, but then thought that didn't sound so good. <laughs> hey, give me some of that love sauce. <laughs> Dang it. So that doesn't it's really... Heart, heartbeat is much better. Heartbeat hot sauce has much yeah. like less uh, perverted ring to it, right? <laughs> so, <Apologies. laughs> so the ingredients, bell pepper, onion, white vinegar, habaneros, sugar, garlic, lime, kosher salt, and canola oil. So, um, and what's cool on here, they said small batches, they have a handwritten batch number on here. This mm -hmm. is from batch 112. So it's a new sauce then? But they don't have it that many batches yet? Or? So they, they make like a limited quantity of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it made it's made with fermented peppers, which is cool. So I let's give it a shake. wonder how many sauces are in a batch. That's a good question. Heartbeat hot sauce? <laughs> that, that's a question for you guys. How many bottles are in a typical small batch? Um, shoot me a message, let me know. I'd like to uh, inform the viewers. So let's give it a smell. Well, before we do that, what do you think of the design of the bottle? Um, it's pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not too threatening. I mm -hmm. like the color. Yeah, it looks really cool. I really uh, like the look of this bottle. And it's a plastic bottle as well. We'll comment on the, the squeeze top in a second. But just like the labeling looks, it looks really cool. The, the heart. Look. The heart with the pepper design, um, yeah, it really stands out to me. I, I really like it a lot. Try it. Like, okay, this is a... almost there. Almost, almost. <laughs> so, let's give it a smell. What do you think of that? I want to smell it again. It kind of reminds me of Thai food because it's hmm. um, 
has a sharpness to mm -hmm. it. I feel like it would be good with a rice noodle. Okay. Yeah, I can smell. Uh, it has a bit of uh, a bit of vinegar. Did I say habaneros? Yes. Okay, good. Because I'm like that's like the main pepper. Um, hopefully, I mentioned that in the ingredients. Does it say what we can pair it with? Um, it doesn't say on the bottle, but um, but they have their website listed on here, so I'm sure we could check that out later. To me, this has a nice uh, a nice aroma to it. It's not. It smells like there's some heat, but um, it has like a pleasant pepper aroma to it. Um, slightly acidic, I guess. Um, not like super savory smelling, not super sweet smelling either. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I would enjoy this one more with food just by the smell. Uh, hmm. We'll see. <laughs> so I'll draw your attention to the top of this bottle. So it has uh, what looks to be a really easy pour um, spout on the top. So you can get the controlled right amount. I really appreciate that because <laughs> um, some sauces I've done recently, um, there was no control and ended up with a lot more on my spoon than I wanted. Uh, so yeah, good move heartbeat. <laughs> so let's take a look at the texture. Ooh. And this is Angel's favorite topic. <laughs> so how would you describe the texture of the sauce, Gel? This is the worst word ever to describe it, but it's more runny than other sauces we've seen and that's not the best descriptor, but it's got more it's not, liquid. It, yeah, to it, it doesn't have like big pieces of pepper or anything mm -hmm. in it. So it's it's smooth as you can see. Um, but it has a nice a nice consistency to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Do you want to do your own spoon? Okay. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna match here. You're gonna match me? More? Well, if you're matching, I gotta do a little more. Okay. So you kind of moved it around your spoon a little. Yes. Okay. Ready for taste? Yes. Cheers. Oh, it's not so bad. Well, let's let it sit for a second. It tastes mild at first, I would say. Yeah. And then there's a little bit of sharpness. A little bit, yeah. It takes like a second or two to kind of come around. Um, it, it doesn't feel too hot for me. I was worried because it was in the hot range that it would be a little bit more than I would appreciate. Mm -hmm. um, I still think it would go well with rice noodles. Yeah. Um, like a pad thai or something like that. Hmm. I really like it actually. Yeah, it has a nice flavor. Um, yeah, it has like a tinge of heat, but not too much. Um, really nice pepper flavor to it. Um, not vinegary at all. Um, I guess I, I would say it's a little bit more sweet than savory, but it's not like, you know, eating a ton of sugar. It has like, it's a pretty well balanced sauce, I think, anyway. I would agree. Um... Mm -hmm. So, for the uh, paint to no pain meter gel on a scale from 0 to 10, how would you rate Heartbeat Hot Sauce? Well, since Habanero? I could tolerate it pretty well on the spoon, I would give it a 5. I think um, maybe. Maybe for me, yeah. I think mm -hmm. it's, I could probably, maybe it's a four or a five because um, it wasn't too hot. Because I've had other sauces that are a little bit hotter than this one, um, but close to the, the mid range, I would say. Mm -hmm. So, how would you rate it? Well, I was just going to say before I give my rating, so if you hear any squeaky noises uh, from underneath the table, that's um, our, our one dog, uh, Maxine. She has her favorite toy that she has stolen back from her brother, Stevie. I don't, I don't know if there's time for it. I wanted to share my funny story. You kind of gave the punchline away, but... Uh, so, Maxine has her preferred toy, and I was 
playing with, tug with her, and she was all happy, and Stevie was feeling left out, which is our other dog. And uh, he totally played her, and he growled like there was something going on outside of the window, and she dropped her toy and proceeded to like freak out at the window for a little bit. She does that. And then he stealthily snuck in and grabbed the toy back. And then he <laughs> ran away and was like up on the couch like, I got your toy, sucker. Yeah, mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was rubbing it in her face a little bit. Yeah, he's um, a little bugger. Yeah. But knows. we love him. We do love them both. Some, But... Uh, she she can hold her own. She's a bit of a bulldozer at times, so she, yeah. she definitely got it back here. She now has the upper hand again. That's right. We don't let our dogs try hot sauce. No, that would that, be a bad idea. That would be a very bad idea for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, yeah. Not only for our comfort of our pets, but the cleanup after. It would require too much cleanup. <laughs> so for myself, for the paint to no pain meter, I would put this like at a three. So, okay. split the difference, I'll agree with you, we'll say 4 out of 10. Yeah. Um, great flavor though, you know, I can see us using this quite a bit, like this bottle it probably won't last us super long. I want to make uh, some Thai food now. Cool. Well, maybe not right now. So, maybe for Valentine's Day. Oh, it's coming up. I mean, it's today. <laughs> so, thanks very much everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, and have a happy Valentine's Day. Bye!